So today I'm going to be talking about the three kind of tears. And you might be asking yourself, why is a chiropractor talking about tears? Well, because tears can impact your general health and what you don't know can harm you. So be sure to watch to the end to find out why I'm talking about tears. I'm Dr. Karen Drummond, owner of Drummond Chiropractic. And if you have any questions or comments, you know we love to hear from you. So please post them below. So let's talk about the three kind of tears. The first kind of tear I want to talk about is the basal tears. These are the kind of tears that lubricate, protect, and nourish your eyes. If you don't have enough lubricating tears, it, even just blinking could be very painful. If you have dry eyes, be sure to talk to your healthcare provider, and hopefully that's one of us here at Drum and Chiropractic, because it could be a sign of a more serious condition. The second kind of tear is the reflexive tear. This is if you are like cutting an onion and you're just streaming down with tears, or you get an eyelash in your eye. This is a very watery type of tear, and it's a way to get substances out of your eye. Now the third kind of tear is what I want to really talk about because it's pretty much uniquely human and it is called the psychic tear. And this is the tear we have when we're super sad or angry or even super joyful. We could be crying with laughter. So what is it about this tear that is so special? Well this tear is chemically different from any other tear we have and it is full of hormones, like the stress hormones or pain relieving hormones. It's literally a way of our body to purge the excess stress hormones we may be feeling when we're experiencing something very stressful or sad or even joyful. So if you ever are in a situation which is super stressful or sad and you're holding back your tears, you're literally stopping yourself from allowing your body to purge this excess hormone that you've got to get rid of. So if you're super sad about something, allow yourself to cry it out. You'll feel so much better and not just feel better, but be better. So I hope this has been helpful to you. Again, if you have any questions about this, feel free to post them below. You know we love hearing from you and until next time, stay well.